Are you looking for more info about optimized media and proxy media? Well, in this video, I'll explain to you exactly what they are, how they work, and the differences between them. What's up everyone, my name is Chad and welcome to Epidemic Media, the channel that is all about bringing you tips and ideas all about video editing so that you can become a better video creator. So if you'd like to see more content just like this in the future, remember to hit that subscribe button so that you can be kept up to date with all of our latest videos. So I thought I'd make this video just to answer a question that was posted in the comments section of one of the previous videos. And the question was, what is proxy media and how do we know when to check and uncheck them? Great question, YouTubes, and let's get right into it. In a nutshell, optimized media and proxy media are basically two options that you have that will help you edit faster and help the process go a little bit smoother and give you a little bit less frustration. So Final Cut Pro essentially transcodes your media to make it a little bit easier to work with while you're editing. So which of these would be better for you? Well, let's go into more detail about both optimized and proxy media so that you can decide for yourself. So let's first start by going over the differences between optimized media and proxy media. When you select optimize media, basically Final Cut Pro transcodes your media into a codec called Apple ProRes 422. Now, how does this help you exactly? When working with this codec, you'll have better performance, better color quality, and the preview rendering times will be a lot quicker than if you were to work with the original clips. Basically, it is just a format or codec that is easier for Final Cut Pro to understand. To make it a little bit easier to understand, try this. Count out loud from 1 to 12. Pretty simple, right? We can pretty much all do it. Now we are going to add in another thing that you need to do. So you're also going to include the letters of the alphabet. So instead of counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, what you're going to do is add in letters of the alphabet as well. So A through L. So instead of counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you're going to do 1A, 2B, 3C, 4D, 5E, 6F. Did you notice how much slower you could do the second one compared to the first one? So in the same way, when you're working in Final Cut Pro and you're busy in your project and you're adding a bunch of layers and text and titles, Final Cut Pro simply needs more brain power to process all of that additional information. So selecting optimized media creates additional files for you to work with that are easier for Final Cut Pro to understand while not losing too much video quality. When you select proxy media, this converts your video to the codec called H.264, which means that Final Cut Pro will create files that are half the resolution, and those are the files that you'll be working with while editing. So because of this, the performance is even better than that of optimized media, and the size of these files are much smaller. But of course, there's always a compromise. So that is that the playback quality might not be as great while editing, but to be perfectly honest, when I create proxy media and work with those files instead, it's not really too noticeable or anything that is too distracting. Personally, I use proxy media for larger files with higher resolution and then once the rough editing phase is done, I then create optimized media for the rest of the editing process. Something to keep in mind when working with optimized media and proxy media is that none of these will actually affect your final export in any way. They're kind of just there to give you a boost while you're actually creating your project. So how do you go about creating optimized media and proxy media for your projects? If you go into your file and open up your import window, you'll notice that on the right you've got transcoding options which are create optimized media and create proxy media. Just check any one of those or both if you want to create both optimized and proxy media and then go ahead and import like normal. Select your files and import them into Final Cut Pro. Now there is a chance that you might see this missing clip when selecting the proxy media option. Now that is only because Final Cut Pro is still generating those proxy media files. Don't worry, you haven't lost your files or that media. Final Cut Pro will display them as soon as everything is done transcoding. If you've already imported your media into Final Cut Pro and want to create optimized media or proxy media after that, all you need to do is right click on your clip or hold Ctrl and then click and then go down to Transcode Media. Select which one you want to create and then click OK. You can also have Final Cut Pro automatically create these files every time you import new media. This is done by going up to Final Cut Pro, heading into your preferences, under your import settings, you can check or uncheck create optimized media or create proxy media. Any one of those that is checked 
basically every time you import new media, Final Cut Pro will automatically create those different media types. Now, if for some reason you can't remember whether you have or have not created any proxy media or optimized media, it is very simple to check. All you need to do is select the clip that you want to have a look at. In this case, we'll work with this one, which is the only clip in this project. Head over to the information tab and you'll see at the bottom right over here, you'll see original, optimized and proxy. If it's got the green circle, it means it is good to go. If it's got the red triangle, it means those media types have not yet been created. Now from here, you also have the option of generating proxy media. Just simply click on that button and Final Cut Pro will go ahead and do the rest. So I'm going to go ahead and generate proxy media for this clip. And now you can see that our background tasks have started working. So transcoding and analysis, and it is currently transcoding that one particular clip. Now when working with proxy media, you want to make sure to switch your view so that you are actually working with those proxy files that you've created. Now how do you do that? You simply go over to view, you click on the drop down menu and you head over to proxy. Click on that and that'll now show you your proxy media. Now this is exactly what I was speaking about earlier. Basically it is only showing the missing files or the missing proxy screen because Final Cut Pro is still creating those proxy files. As soon as it's done, it'll display like normal again. So I'm just gonna let this run through and finish up. And once it's all done, you'll see that everything will be shown as normal again. All right, so now the transcoding and analysis is done and you can see the clip in my viewer again. Also, you'll notice that the proxy little symbol has now changed from the red triangle to the green circle, which means it has been created. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a clip and drag it down into my timeline. Now, when you have completed your entire project and you're ready to export your video, you want to make sure that you switch your view back from proxy media to optimize slash original. If you don't do that and you go ahead and you export your video, you'll see a little warning pop up. All that this is telling you is that Final Cut Pro will be exporting your final video with the same lower quality from your proxy files. But as you can see, you'd never actually necessarily create that final exported video with a lower quality because you'll always have this warning. So if you switch your view back to optimize and original, head over to export. There we go. So just a few extra notes. Keep in mind that when optimized media and proxy media are generated, additional files are created in these new formats. So if you want to free up some space once you've finished your project, all you need to do is click on the project, click on file, and then head down to delete generated project files. Once you click on that, you can select whether you want to delete your render files, optimized media or proxy. So if I delete the proxy files, You'll notice that now the proxy media has the red triangle again because I have just deleted those proxy files. Also, since Final Cut Pro is creating new files when generating optimized media and proxy media, it does take a little bit of time to get done. So depending on how much media you have that needs to be converted, it might take a while. So you might not necessarily be able to start editing immediately after you've imported all of your media into Final Cut Pro. And there it is. I hope this video answered all of the questions that you might have had whether it's about proxy media or optimized media. If there's anything that you still want to know about it, simply drop a comment down below. I really hope this video brought you some value. If you did find it helpful or useful in any way, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. And also remember to hit that subscribe button so that you can be kept up to date with all of Epidemic's upcoming videos. Until next time.